One of the reasons that we embarked several years ago now on the maximum economic pressure campaign towards the regime in Iran was not just over their nuclear ambitions, but it was over the fact uh, that they had an unprecedented cash flow uh, to be able to wreak havoc in the Middle East and places like Iraq to fund these Shia militias that were simply there to in Iraq to sow political unrest, uh, to drive division, to drive sectarianism, things that we just don't stand for in the United States. States. And so we know that we have greatly impaired the ability for Iran to fund these militias. So, uh, as we know, in Iraq, as I said, uh, Iran does have nefarious intentions. And, and our purpose, really, of the strategic dialogue is to really move uh, in a very positive way, a very a, just a first step forward, but to, to move towards a normalization in ties where we don't need to treat Iraq as, as sort of this war zone country anymore, right? We are looking at not just our troop presence there, but our political re relationship, our diplomatic relationship, our economic relationship, our financial relationship. We remain, the United States remains uh, the largest humanitarian donor uh, to Iraq. Uh, that's something that we're very proud of, and the American people are very invested in a stable and secure democracy and a prosperous Iraq. Uh, so we are encouraged with the new government, we're encouraged that they're listening to the people, that they're listening to the people of, of Iraq um, and their calls uh, over the past year for reform, for transparency, and, and for accountability. So we will continue to do what we can do uh, to support um, the sovereignty of, of Iraq, to support uh, the Iraqi government and their people, uh, to make decisions that, that best support the people of Iraq, that best support that democracy.